Hello and welcome to a millinery home studio tour. My name is Ilona, I'm a milliner based in London and today I'm celebrating because I've reached 1000 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you to every single one of you who has subscribed and watched my videos so far. As a little celebration I thought I'd take you on a little excursion around my home. I'd like to show you how I organise and keep all my millinery materials and equipment organised in a 71 square metre London flat. So let's get that camera off the tripod and go for a little walk. Let's start off right in this corner where I keep all my sewing machines and yes, I do have more than one. I've got three and every single one of them has a purpose. Yes, it does. No one contradict me. I do need three sewing machines. One of them is a 1902 hand crank singer, which needs a little bit of restoration work. And hopefully one day I'll get round to doing that so that I can actually use it. The other thing that I keep under the piano is my sewing caddy, which is an awful lot of fun to unfurl. How cool is this? I love it. It's from 1962 and it says made in Poland on the bottom. I love it a lot. I recommend everyone get one of these and I can keep all my threads organized in their colors. I've got some flower making equipment in here or rather flower making materials and I'll go into more about what exactly is in here later on in the video but for now we'll swivel around to my left over to my Calax unit. Every good home sewist has a Calax unit like this one with lots of lovely little cubes that have all my fabrics and technical materials in them. The other thing in my Calax unit is my pile of books that I am trying to read and there are too many so it gets very difficult to read all of them at once. I should really take it one book at a time, that would be a lot more sensible. Up here is how I keep little tiny offcuts of silk fabric. They're all organized in little containers inside this box. That keeps everything nice and organized and it means that I can see them straight away when I open the box so I know exactly what is where. Follow me around this way and we come to my Hemner's bureau cupboard in which I keep more sewing things, my wires and vintage berries. Let's move on to my chemicals cupboard. Now I really want to get a little skull and crossbones for this cupboard so that everybody knows this is where the chemicals are kept. Ideally, it would also have a lock and key. Inside, apart from the chemicals, I've also got my Jacquard acid dyes, which I have a video on, which I'll link to in the top right. The other thing in this cupboard are my notes on hat designs and various other stationery and some rare and special vintage books that I don't want out so that they don't catch the sunshine. Please follow me through to the blue room. This is technically my home office, but it has this wardrobe in here, 50% of which is millinery materials. You might remember this drawer from my Vintage Vampire Goth video, where I keep my felt scraps from offcuts of hats. The way I like to store my capelines is hanging up like this because again it means that I can see everything that I have. And the way I hang them up is using little clips like this. So these just go on the pole and then the capelines clip through on the clips.
And now let's go to the last millinery storage place. And we pass through my seasonal selection of hats that I wear on an everyday basis when I go and do the food shop. Welcome to my utility cupboard. This is where I keep all my hat blocks and blocking tools. It makes sense for me when organizing to keep all the things that you would use for one single task in one single space. So that's why the blocking tools live next to the hat blocks, as does the steamer. And there's also an iron in here. And the other thing that's in here, and this doesn't make sense, is my flat millinery materials such as buckram, there's some cinema in here, and also some veiling. There's just no other better place to put this box, so it lives here. And that's it for the Millinery Home Studio Tour. Thank you so much for watching, liking and subscribing. Thank you for letting me grow my channel and finding my videos interesting enough that makes me want to make more videos. And there'll be more videos coming. See you next time. Bye. my hat. Do you want to play with my hat? Yes? Do you want to play with my hat? Is it up or not?